A lot can change in a year. I've found that life is where you make it out to be. If you choose to do nothing, you'll stay exactly where you are. But if you start to chase after your dreams, you can change so much in a year that you'll be unrecognizable. Hold on, I gotta pick something up real quick. Am I watching this? Can I get a pack of reds? I eat. Nope. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. There you go. Right. Thank you. I just bought my first pack of cigarettes. I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. Never have, never will. You probably shouldn't either. Anyways. Today's my birthday, and I thought it'd be cool to reminisce today and take you to places around New York City that brought a lot of change to me in the past year or so. So, without further ado, let's go to the first location. Beautiful day in the city. I figured, why not bring you guys around on a little tour of NYC? Come on the, oh, come on the Colt train, you know? Or the Colt cycle. So yeah, it's my 23rd birthday, and this past year has honestly been pretty crazy for me. A lot of goals that I set, I was fortunate enough to achieve. So today I wanted to kind of take you around, and bring you to a couple spots that mean something to me, and kind of tell you the story of how I made it to New York City. So around this time, about a year ago, I was just going full-time working for creators. But before all that, before filming, there was one YouTuber that I worked for for the first time, and that's where we're going right now. All right, so we are here at the infamous Washington Square Park, and at this point in my career, I filmed for a bunch of different creators, and specifically here at Washington Square Park, I filmed a bunch of times. Sean and Riz, I'm looking at you. This place is special to me because it kind of marks the first time that I ever filmed for a creator, and kind of kickstarted my journey of what I do today. So back in 2021, I was just a mere mortal among humans, and I had never filmed for YouTubers or anything like that. And I remember Steezy Kane posted on his Instagram story that he was looking for a videographer. I remember I had just gotten this camera, super professional camera, just dumped like $5,000, and I had no idea what I was gonna do, make YouTube videos or something. Obviously, that hasn't worked out, but you're watching this today, so that's good. I sent him a DM, and to my surprise, he got back to me, and the next morning, I was on a train down to New York City, where it was a snowstorm and we had a huge snowball fight, made it on the news. I remember this is where we threw the snowball fight. Everybody was just surrounded, hucking snowballs. I was running around and it was a pretty cool experience. And it was actually super cold too. My feet were like freezing off that whole time. Honestly, it was a craziest experience for me and it kind of kickstarted my career to what I do now today. First place I ever filmed for a YouTuber. So shout out CZ Kane. Thank you for believing in me when I had no potential or I had potential, but I had no portfolio work. But shout out CZ Kane, and let's head to the next spot. You know, filming for CZ was the coolest thing ever. So surreal. It's the first time I ever filmed for a YouTuber. And I remember just being hooked. I wondered how I could get back into it. Steezy was going back to LA and there'd be a six month gap before we'd film again. But filming for Steezy set me up for the next person that I started working for. And we're headed there to meet him for the first time now. So let's go. Now there's a ton of these Think Coffees around the city, but this Think Coffee is my Think Coffee. I don't even drink coffee, but let's go inside. Back in October of 2021, Kelly had just moved to New York City from Arizona and he was looking for a local filmer. I hit him up and I had filmed for Steezy in the past so they kind of knew each other. And by my luck, it kind of just worked out. Kelly told me to meet at This Thing Coffee, I think it was October 18th, 2021. And I sat in this exact spot right here. I remember I ordered oatmeal and I was just eating my oatmeal and I look up and Elliot walks in. I'm like, yo, I'm meeting Kelly for the first time. Crazy to meet you. And he sits down with me and passed the time until Kelly came. That was just like super cool, super surreal. First time meeting them. And uh, let's go to the next place, which might be a little familiar to you guys. So this legendary door, which none of you know until now, 
was your mom's house, which is a creator house that I helped film for last year. After meeting Kelly at Think Coffee, we came back up here and I got to meet everybody that was a part of the house. And it was really cool because it's kind of the start of what I do now, the start of my career. I would take a train each week to come help film for Kelly. And my parents were always sussed out, like, what the heck are you doing in the city all the time? It's pretty hard to describe my type of work because we were either doing like a Coney Island polar plunge or building a skate ramp in the apartment. This is kind of the start of filming and what I do now as a career. We had a lot of good memories here. I miss it, I miss it, but YouTube is kind of my dream and just being creative and being able to express yourself creatively is super cool. Your mom's house kind of created that environment for that. Should we ding dong ditch them? Oh Ooh, we got them good guys. Ah, honestly, that was lame. Well, let's go to our next location. Let's go to our next look. The next part of my story brings me here to 368, where I'll be meeting my friend Jordan. This is Jordan Stuttered, and he works out of an old subway car hidden in the basement of 368. I like to think of this place as his creative playground, where he can let his imagination run free. He's one of the most creative voices that I've ever met, and without a doubt will go down as one of the greats. I'm envious of such creativity, and it reminded me of why I got started in the first place. In life, there are specific people that shape you to who you are today. It might be Michael Jordan's game-winning three that inspires you to play basketball, or Neil Armstrong's first step on the moon that sparks your dream to be an astronaut. For me, that was Casey Neistat, who inspired me to pick up a camera for the first time, and it just so happens that Jordan's subway car is located a couple floors down from Casey's office. Casey and I had like kind of recently become friends, and so he just got back into town, and he was like, today I need a guy to give me lenses, like I need a, a camera guy. And I was like, all right, I got a guy for you. He's like, does he know what he's doing? Like, can he go to B&H, give me a lens? Like, can he help me film a little bit? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Like, this is the guy. The next thing I knew, I found myself at my favorite place in the world to pick up a lens for Casey Neistat himself. So I tried to pick up the lens, but they wouldn't give it to me because clearly I'm not Casey. There was no way I was failing. So I went full Karen mode and I asked to see a manager. So I was like freaking out. I'm like, I don't want to fail and I don't want to bother him. But I was texting Casey and he sent this video, which gave off permission for me to pick up the lens. Hey b &H, this is Casey Neistat. This is the order for that lens right there. And I give Colt permission to take the lens. Thank you. So I was just waiting there. I didn't want to disappoint Casey and I was just hoping that the video would work. At this point, Casey got a hold of b &H to figure out the details. Thank you so much. After what felt like an eternity, I finally got the lens and off it was 368. So I remember being right on time. I had this lens right here, Andrew Schultz and, um, oh shoot, what's his name? Casey has a brother who was sitting over there. Just like awkward, like, what's up guys? Got Casey's lens, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, a car whipped in the front, out flies Casey vlogging, yeah. grabs the lens, and says, nice work, I'm like, cool. And then he literally leaves his car running and tells me to sit in there the and car. make sure he doesn't get a parking ticket. So then there's me, I'm just chilling in Casey's car. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I'm just sitting there hoping no cops come. And then I know where Casey flies out again and then throws his camera at me. He's like, do you know how to use this? I was like, yeah. Literally, I'm just running around for like three minutes trying to get awesome shots. It makes a vlog. And then at the end of it, he grabs a camera, flips it around, which is like so foreign to me because I'm the cameraman, you know, you don't show the cameraman. He turns the camera around and says, nice camera work. And all I could do was two thumbs up. But yeah, that was really cool. And thank you, Jordan, for helping me meet an idol. And then afterwards, I went to Chipotle around the corner because I was hungry. So I'm kind of hungry too right now. Meeting Casey was such a bucket list item that I got to check off. And I remember I came and sat in this exact spot in Chipotle just to let what just happened sink in. Honestly, such a cool experience. And the fact that he gave me his camera I was like, what? I'm just gonna finish this real quick and then we're off to the next location. So at this point, every time I go to the city, it takes about two hours. I drive to the train station, take the train, then I subway to wherever I need to go. And I did that for the past year. And all my friends have been saying, Colt, you gotta move to the city, gotta move to the city. So I got a little surprise for you guys and I'm really excited to show you.
Come on. This guy like sleeping or something? Like. Ooh, Oscar, I'm so sorry. What? What was that? I was kind of hoping I could use a secret entrance. No! What? Th this is my home! Bro, come on, please. No! I could buy you a cookie or something. I, I, I'm not the cookie monster! Bro! Ah, uh, fine. You got any lights down here? I can't see a thing. Uh, it's a trash can. What do you expect? Yeah, you got a point. Uh, actually, I think I got something. Eh? Eh? It's my birthday. So tight in here. Oscar, why do you go to the bathroom down here? You don't want to know. <laughs> Oscar, how much longer? I can't take it anymore. Colt, we're right here. It's so hot in there. All right, thanks, Oscar. So I finally made it to New York City. I'm living in an apartment with two other creators, Contagious and Shervin. We call ourselves the Content Closet. Contagious lives there. Shervin lives there. Our kitchen is here. And I live here. I'll give a proper apartment tour pretty soon. You're gonna make a proper apartment tour video, bro? You just gave away our whole apartment. It's humble beginnings, humble beginnings. And if you made it this far in the video, I have a little gift for you guys. Let's go to the roof. Just penthouse things, you know. It's pretty crazy. Made it out to NYC finally. I feel like this past year has been a dream come true. It's been pretty cool. I've been at this for about a year or so. Life moves so fast, honestly. Myself a year ago was a completely different person. And I think what worked for me is I never really gave up on my dreams, you know? You just gotta hold on to them and keep chasing them. And I've been lucky enough that this year has been so good to me. Got to check off a bunch of bucket list items, some that like literally were impossible, but somehow we did it and you guys can do it too. I just figured I've been so lucky this past year, so let's give some luck to you. So I'm gonna give you my birthday wish, but you gotta close your eyes and no peeking. I know you're peeking, close your eyes and think of that dream that you've always wanted to achieve. Now really hold on to it. On the count of three, blow out your candles. Three, two, one. Nice. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This one was like a passion project, so it took a little while to come out, but new videos coming soon. NYC, cameras, whatever. Just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. My filmer. Thank you for helping me film. You're welcome. Oh my god, Cole, you kiss your filmer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do.